And you see you have a humongous driveway, room for probably six cars or four big cars out here in the front. And then inside the garage itself, room for the carport, I should say, room for several large cars or even SUVs. It's just a humongous, uh, beautiful uh, area for cars. And one last pan around in front here. And that's, that'll be it. Okay, this is a supplemental video for Frank. Now we're walking out of the main house towards the street to give you an idea of the proximity of the other, other properties in the area. And they're nice homes all around. And uh, there's a... Uh, A-frame, uh, well, it's, I, I look like an A-frame. It's another house to the north uh, with the mountains behind. And uh, another home directly across. And again, it's uh, very private because they're up higher. And they've also got bougainvilleas all across in front of their property. And, and uh, they park down below and walk up from their, their covered uh, garage area and there's a large wall also across the street from the property we're looking at here with cactus and beautiful uh, shrubbery and bougainvilleas at the top and I'm going to walk quickly to the far end of the street where there's a on the north side of the street here where there's a a gate an electric gate looks like it's a low gate and it goes up what is uh, a private road to it must be up to a very large extremely nice estate i'm not going to go up there of course but uh that's that's at the very end of the block and we'll turn around and you see it's a a long uh, several blocks down to the entrance road you're the this will be the last house at the end of the cul-de-sac but still neighbors all around to give you a sense of uh being a neighborhood and i'll take a few more shots as we drive out of the area from inside the car Okay, here we are on Chanteclair, and we're just uh, at the intersection with the main entrance road here. And I think there's about maybe four homes between here and uh, the home in question. So it looked like a real long street before, but, but that was because we were looking past the entrance road. Now we're turning to the right towards the lake onto the entrance road. Of course, an exit road as well. And it's, this whole area is filled with beautiful homes. Uh, they're not cookie cutter though. They're each one is an individual home. It's originally, this area was developed by Canadians. And so the original homes up here were all built to Canadian uh, building code standards. And it's a beautiful divided roadway here at the very front of the entrance row with pretty palm trees, as you can see. Go over Topa here. And they have uh, good well water out here. And good shopping in the town of Hocotepec at a Walmart owned and operated uh, store called Bodega, which is quite nice. They have the Walmart products and so forth. And we're now we're exiting. It used to be what is called Las Fuentes. They, of course, it still is called Las Fuentes. They used to have a giant fountain out here at the entrance, but not anymore. So now we're back to the Caratella, and so that gives you a sense of the neighborhood.